Yeah. Too bad, Jerry Owens. Yeah, boy. So bold. What are you doing, boy? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You walk here and right, right in the camera. Well, what is this thing here? You got a moped? I got a moped. Mopedly? It made Milwaukee. Oh. The Milwaukee moped. That's old Milwaukee? Old Milwaukee moped. You know, with the colors, right? That's sweet, bro. 84 shovel head. 80 cubic inch. Off by 79. We got a horn. And uh, here's this 32 Ford here. Bacon built. You will not find a nicer one anywhere that I think. Jerry and um, our good friend passed away, Joe Bacon put this car together and it's flawless from one end to the other right here in this garage built it right here in this garage and a little bit up at the shop hillbilly and redneck dog marble got interior a, got a little tiny motor in it I think you've got a, a a model four cylinder on each side <laughs> not too sure I told him he should have put some chrome on the damn thing instead of all this black stuff I guarantee you one thing, if Jerry's got it, it's clean. Nah, it's filthy. This is a sharp, sharp, sharp car. It or as Cheech would say, it's a sharp chork, man. Yes, it brings home the, brings home the bacon. Uh, anyway, if Jerry's got it, it's, it's, it's nice. That's all I got to say. Me and Jerry have been buddies a long time. We used to run stock cars together. Stock cars and, uh, and trophies are up there behind you. Yes, they were. They were unhappy when we showed up at the track. Because uh, if we didn't break, we took home some tin. Yep. yep. We busted their ass. Well. A Yankee from OH10 and a redneck from Orla Vista. That's right, a Orla Vista redneck and a... And no a Winter Garden Road gang. And an Ohioan. We had, some, we had some fun, didn't we, boy? Hey. Ah, yes, there's the Rambler up cap. That's another story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> there's old John Milner on the wall over there. Ah, damn, son, we've had some good times till we got old and crippled. Yep, now we're just walking around drunk. I don't know about that part. Okay, walking around semi-inebriated state. You can be that way. I'll be limping on pharmaceuticals. Self-medicated. Yes, there you go. Well, anyway, the reason I stopped by Jerry's, I had to do some showing off. Nobody's seen this yet. He, uh, Dave found a clown car from the yes, Barnum yeah. & Bailey Circus. Right. I think <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's quite rated Barnum & Bailey. Jerry messaged me. I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday, Jerry? Yes. And he said, he said, uh, look here, boy, I got you some parts. We got a 1950... Crosley Super and what I think the Super stood for was super rusty but it is a complete automobile and motor turns over with compression it has hubcaps roll up windows it is missing the Crosley medallion on the front of the hood but uh, I think everything else is there so uh, we bought it super cheap and uh, we're going to take it home and see if we can make it make some noise. I want to show you something that I thought was hilarious. Jerry's got a Briggs and Stratton riding lawnmower. And it's got a bigger exhaust pipe than what this thing's got. I don't know about the lawnmower, but I got a bigger exhaust pipe. Oh, uh, I don't know. Watch it, boy. What, what things you're saying, you're on the TV. Look at this exhaust pipe. It's about five-eighths of an inch. Five-eighths of an inch. Anyway. That's that. It's hot out here. We're going to go inside and cool off. Who the heck's Mr. Heavy Chevy? Our, Mr. Heavy Chevy? You don't know who Mr. Heavy Chevy is? Hello, folks. It's Sunday morning. Miss Laura and I came here to the VFW, post 2093. It's a beautiful place. Got the lake, and you can see out there is the, the uh, 
gazebo at the end of the boat dock behind the Crosley there. The Crosley's gone out on an outing this morning. First yeah. trip to the post. First trip to the VFW post. Maybe later it'll drive up here. <laughs> and, uh, it's a beautiful place and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all you veterans out there. Because uh, we couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for y'all. That's right. So, anyway, that's right. That's right. It's a beautiful facility. We got people having a picnic out here. And they're having a big pavilion. We have concerts and all kind of stuff out there. And big meeting hall inside. And big. Uh, all socially distanced. Yes, yeah, big hall to rent out to have weddings and stuff and here on the lake. It's beautiful. So we're going to take the Crosley on home. Mascot about 40 miles away, 45 maybe. What do you see, baby? The flags. Right oh, there. I already got the flags. I yes. Know yes. Now. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Say goodbye, Laura. Happy Sunday. Goodbye, Laura. <laughs> and we'll see y'all again. Take care now. We love all y'all. Hey, we got the Crosby here at my grandkids' house. We're on our way home. This is Miss Abby. What's your name? That's Millie. Can you reach the pedals, Abby? Yeah. You can? Oh, almost. Yeah. yeah. That's a little car, isn't it? Oh, no, it's raining. Rain drops are falling on my head. You getting wet, Millie? Uh-huh. Look at the rain falling on the trailer. You can see it. Oh, my goodness. Let's get it out of the rain. You like the little car? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Uh-oh, Dad. And my son says, oh, here you go again, Pop. <laughs> All right, we're going. It's raining. Abby, come on. All right. We're going to the house.